Hi there, it's Michelle Tavers of themindfulartist.com and michelletavers.com. And this morning, after my meditation, I got the guidance to do this video for you. So I talk a lot in my videos about how I tune in and how I get answers, how I, when I'm not sure about something in my art, what to do, I'm confused in my day, I will just get quiet and tune in. And so I wanted to do this video for you about how to connect with your inner guidance. And to be honest, that's gonna be different for every person. I can really explain how it works for me. But if you're new to this and you're looking to get more in touch with your inner guidance, it's probably going to be a process for you. So don't expect it to um, happen overnight if it's a new endeavor for you but during this video I am going to lead a practical sort of meditation or um, exercise for tuning in that may or may not help you personally remember just like making art is completely unique to you this is as well so first thing I wanted to say is it's we all have this incredible innate wisdom within us whether you realize it or not and the price of admission to getting in touch with your inner guidance is letting go of your doubt and your skepticism and I get how hard that is because I have always had a very highly skeptical mind very um, yeah, just questioning everything. And so just think about that for a minute. <laughs> just check in. What is your level of skepticism? What is your level of doubt? Because you're going to have to relinquish that to actually tune in and get answers and guidance to the questions you're seeking. The other thing is, I've talked about it many times before, but meditation is really key. A regular practice of stepping back from your mind because these answers aren't going to be coming from your frontal lobe, your prefrontal cortex, I think they call it. This is our thinking mind and it's an amazing thing. The brain is an amazing thing, but you have access to more than that more than that analytical thinking, reasoning, pros, cons, etc. It's actually a pretty slow, um, pretty slow mechanism. And intuition is really fast, it's in a flash, and those who are in the flow with it get a lot done and have a lot of amazing creative ideas. And you've probably seen them and you may very well be one of them. And if so, I'd love for you to share in your comments below how you have learn to tune in with your inner guidance, share with us what works for you, who taught you, or did you innately have it as a child and you never lost it or whatever. I feel we do have this as a child and it, over the process of, um, I can't come up with the right word, I'm gonna say, it's gonna sound terrible, indoctrination, but over the process of education or as we grow up and we sort of um, conform to societal norms, there's just a lot within our mass thought form and ways of thinking and being and stuff that sort of take you out of that childlike, playful, open, creative mind. We've all been there. You guys know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. So for me, because I've been meditating so long, I can snap into that mode really quickly. So daily practice, even if it's just a couple of minutes, five minutes, it doesn't have to be a lot, but just a practice of quieting your mind on a regular basis so that you, it's sort of like going to the gym. You wouldn't go to the gym and take the 150 pound weight and try and lift it over your head if you had never done that before. You'd start with some lower weights and you'd do it on a regular basis. You wouldn't expect to go into the gym once a month and be able to lift the heaviest weights. You would build up to it and you would need to be regular and consistent. Same thing with your mind training. It needs to be regular and consistent for you to really maximize this amazing being that you are. So regular meditation is my strongest suggestion and I do have a few guided meditations on this channel if that is helpful. If you want more, more on meditation, please let me know. I'm 
more than happy to do that for you. Let me know in the comments below if I can help you with that. Um, but for me, it is, it's a process of just tuning in. Often I like to sit down and close my eyes. For sure I like to close my eyes to cut out the external sensory world, especially because I'm very visually oriented person and you probably are too because you're interested in visual art. So there's so much stimulus like amazing colors and textures and light and shadow and all these things happening all the time. My brain is constantly processing. So close that down. Um, quiet, no distractions if you can by yourself. Going inward, touching in with the body, breathing, those kind of things help me to tune in. So if you're ready, I'd love to just invite you to do this now, or you can come back to this video later and try it out. So find a comfortable place, put your phone on do not disturb, close the door, just pause the video if you need to and just tell the people, hey, give me five minutes, please. I need quiet. I need alone time. Thank you very much. Okay, now that you've done that, you can really settle in and just release and breathe. So that might be releasing tension, releasing thoughts, coming into your own inner nature, your inner beingness. Just breathe a few more filling breaths, relaxing breaths. Don't strain with them, but you may find yourself wanting to expand your ribs a little bit more, front to back, side to side. See what that does. Maybe make an adjustment in your spine, in the back of your head, in your shoulders. If you're slouching forward, you may want to pretend there's a string at the top of your head lifting you up. Feel the vertebrae going down your back, this natural, beautiful curvature through which so much information passes throughout the day to operate this amazing physical mechanism that you are. And just breathe into that and allow spaciousness between the vertebrae. Allow a free flow of movement, electricity, energy, if you will, in the spinal column and the area that surrounds it. And now we invite you to think of one small thing that you've been questioning in your mind, something that may have been troubling you, something you're confused about. And if you're new to this, start with something small and easy. It could be as simple as, what should I make for dinner? Or what's the best way to structure my day? Or how can I talk to this person in my life in a way that we can understand each other better? Or I'm not sure what to do with my art piece. What's next? I'm at a standstill with it. Whatever your simple, you know if it's loaded. So try not to start with the most difficult question. Just something simple, something light, something easy that you'd like to get information on. Once you have that question in your mind, just breathe again and come back to your center, your core, whatever that means to you. And imagine there's light energy pouring in through your forehead and illuminating your whole brain and traveling down your spinal column all the way to your tailbone. Just breathing and releasing. If thoughts come up, just tell yourself, I am not my thoughts. I am not my plans. Let them drop. Now I'm going to be silent for some moments for you. 
And during this time, I'd like you to continue the breathing or whatever visualization or just your own releasing to continue as you allow things to bubble up. It could be the tiniest thing. Again, try not to doubt or question. It could be a color. It could be a shape. It could be a flash of a thought if you know it's not from your thinking, planning mind, but something random like a deer jumping over a fence. Whatever it is, don't question, don't judge. Allow it to be. All right, so we'll take a few moments in silence together to open up. And now I'd like to invite you to take a piece of paper or the notes app on your phone and jot down any perceptions immediately before you start to question them. Just jot down what it is. You do not have to understand it. It does not have to mean anything to you yet. So you may want to pause this video. You may want to pause and continue the breathing and relaxing and allowing the light into your forehead and into your spinal column. So now that you've done that and you've written your insights down, I just want you to remember that it may not mean something to you right away. It might not seem like an answer to your question. You may get more information as the day progresses or as the week progresses that will help you better understand the information. You may get information in your dreams or you may have very well received a complete packet of clarity in that one short session. I really hope this helped you. If it was helpful, let me know with a thumbs up or add your questions below, make comments. And if you would like a more extended session of this also let me know that I kept it brief some people get information quickly some people need a more involved process and want more time and more guidance and I'm more than happy to do that for you I hope you have a really beautiful day and a creative week and just remember that a lot of people are opening up now to their inner being to their inner self and this is an amazing time for many people and I hope I hope I can support you in that process until the next time